Hello everyone, welcome to one body of Christ. Our Savior welcomes to the show that is going to together. Today we're meditating upon true guidance through the Holy Spirit. Before we start, let's see screw talks about this topic. Psalm chapter 143, verse 10. Teach me to do your will, for you are my God. May your gracious Spirit lead me forward on a firm footing. Now let's see what we can learn from the verse we just read. It is commonly believed that the human brain is like a sponge. It absorbs things and retains it until it is squeezed to release what has been absorbed. In times of social cable news media era, we are all exposed with tons of information. Some are useful and some useless irrelevant contents. Media information has become a necessity for all of us. Almost everyone in cities or villages carry mobile phones. The world is available on our fingertips. But the most important thing is that not to miss the most important information for life. Information from heaven. We need God's guidance and we need to receive the teaching of his word. God's words are the fundamental and appropriate information for our lives. In this world and afterlife. We cannot be righteous on our own. We need to his words the psalmist in this section of Psalms realized that no matter what we do, it is worthless if it is not led by the Word of God and has true understanding through the Holy Spirit. So, he pleaded in his, in his prayer to God that he provides him the right guidance through the Holy Spirit to understand his Word. The Holy Spirit continues to work in all of his believers. The Holy Spirit is here to teach us, help us, and guide us, understand the Word of God, and strengthen us to do God's will. The main point is that the Holy Spirit is the only thing that equips believers to be righteous. Let us ask every morning to be filled with His new anointing of the Holy Spirit, because that anointing teaches us every day to understand His ways. Praise God, the Father who has given the best gift to us, which is His Holy Spirit. This message also gives us a promise today today. The promise is, And I will ask the Father, and He will give you another advocate to help you and be with you forever. It is for your good that I am going away. Unless I go away, the advocate will not come to you. But if I go, I will send him to you. Let's close time in prayer together. Please join me in this prayer. Dear Lord, Heavenly Father, my dear wonderful God, Lord, thank you for the promise and provision I have in you that you have sent your Holy Spirit to be with us, provide us the right understanding and guidance, and help us to discern and make right decisions for our lives and for others. Lord, as I continue my day today, help me to be focused to do what is right and according to your guidance, fulfilling all what you have made for me. So as I live this life in my home, at my work, and at go to marketplaces, wherever I go, I will be enabled to bring glory to your holy name. In Jesus' holy name I pray, amen. Have a blessed day, everyone. It's God's going to talk to you tomorrow.